so how fun is it to play in this sandbox? Because <laughs> it, it, it's amazing, and visually it looked great when I saw all mm -hmm. the three episodes. How was it playing in the sandbox? Oh, it's incredibly <laughs> fun. I mean, we had, it's, you know, uh, as an actor in the theater, you have five or six weeks or seven mm -hmm. weeks of rehearsal to put something together. In movies and television, you never get that. But we yeah. had that here. Mm -hmm. We had, like, weeks to sort of mm -hmm. figure out how we're going to do this and what it's going to look like and how we play together and improv mm -hmm. together. And all of that translated into the actual show. We have yeah. so much that we did in the prep that actually came into the show. And so it was, uh, like... You talk about playing in a sandbox, man, it was fun. Yeah, new world, new rules, new... There's almost no boundaries, and it makes it very... Uh yeah. So, yeah, safe, just, and you can, you yeah. can, you can. It feels safe to fail, you know. And I, like you just push it, you just go for it, and yeah. and, and 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 everyone has your back, you know. Mm -hmm. Stephen, Francis, Apple, mm -hmm. were so safe, like meaning like we got you. You just go, mm -hmm. you just do what you want, and 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 we'll pull you back if we need to, but you we want you to reach far, and so you know you see it, you can feel it. Yeah. And when you're reading the script and you see this transition, not only just on the clothing. It's a futuristic world, but you've seen a lot of the past and a lot of yeah. different mm -hmm. Native American and different motifs mm -hmm. in there. It's playing as how free did you have to go with it and to maybe go a different direction? With, uh, it's, it, it's so cool that you have different sort of cultural nuggets throughout the whole piece. I mean, from you know royalty of England to the Attila the Hun to Native American to there's elements of everything throughout history in this piece, and we sort of were able to sort of not say it has to just be this, it has to just just be that. You know, you sort of, you know, yes, we're in America, but you don't really know where you are. Like, this is a completely new space, you know. Exactly. And tell us a little bit about your characters and what your role is in the show. I play Queen Kane. She's uh, the leader of Pion. Um, she rules through fear, uh, has been taught that by her father, the king. Uh, it's the way that she believes she can control everything. Inside, she's really vulnerable and she's quite afraid now that two babies that are born that can see have entered the world she feels as though the world is in danger and her people are in danger and she needs to protect them and to Makti Jun who is sort of Queen Kane's right arm um, the general that sort of has her back uh, but he has to go out and find these um, two kids with sight and leaving her sort of vulnerable in, in the palace and him sort of isolated in the field and it turns into a 10-year odyssey and it's literally the fractures start happening and happening and you, you realize, you know, what, what a kind of upset this has become in a kind of cosmic field and it's just like it's super intense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last question, since this is a new show and a new streaming network, what can you tell the Muse audience to get them to see on November 1st? Oh, man, you don't have to... S you just watch the trailer. Because mm -hmm. it's it's a ride, man, and you're going to want to see it. You just are. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the best. Thank you.